There have always been advantages to working with Acme Steel Company. Being an integrated steelmaker gives Acme a quality advantage and provides our customers with top quality steel products. Acme's position as North America's most flexible integrated steelmaker also works to the company's advantage, helping it carve out market niches among customers looking for specific or specialized steels in small order quantities. In the autumn of 1996, Acme completed its new compact strip production facility in Riverdale, Illinois, which made the introduction of minigrated steel a reality and redefined the steelmaking process. For the first time anywhere in the world, Acme Steel combined the high quality benefits of integrated steelmaking techniques with the efficiencies of state-of-the-art thin slab casting and rolling technology. The result is minigrated steel, the most important advance in steelmaking in over a quarter century. And the advantages belong to Acme's customers and shareholders. The production of minigrated steel still begins at Acme's Coke plant in Chicago, a world-class facility that produces high-quality, consistent Coke. Coke is made by blending, then heating as many as six different types of coal in one of Acme's 100 Coke ovens. A solid program of operational maintenance and state-of-the-art environmental controls ensure that these ovens will continue to meet Acme's Coke needs. The finished coke travels by conveyor to Acme's blast furnace plant, where it's combined with iron ore pellets and other raw materials, and smelted into liquid iron. Smelting occurs when a blast of air heated to 1875 degrees is blown through the burden and burns the coke, converting the iron ore pellets into molten iron. The iron travels by special rail car to Acme's basic oxygen furnace where it's processed along with carefully selected steel scrap. Here in two 100-ton furnaces, oxygen is blown into the vessel at supersonic speeds, refining the iron and scrap into high-quality liquid steel. The use of integrated steel-making technology is the basis for Acme's product quality advantage. In the new world of minigrated steel, this advantage has expanded. The ladles are placed on special transfer cars and transported to Acme's compact strip production facility. The CSP is among the most modern steel manufacturing plants in the world and the heart of Acme's minigrated steel advantage. Minigrated steel combines integrated steel making quality with mini mill efficiencies. The CSP expands an exclusive Acme advantage allowing it to efficiently produce the special grades and small order sizes typical of the company's niche market customers while improving the overall quality of its steel products. When ladles of high quality liquid steel arrive at the CSP they immediately enter one of two ladle metallurgy stations. The steel then begins its final step toward becoming hot rolled coils of minigrated steel. What once took 10 days will now happen in 90 minutes. Little metallurgy permits precise computer formulated refinements to the steel's chemistry to meet exact customer specifications. Alloy additions are computer controlled and argon bottom bubbling ensures uniform alloy distribution. Each metallurgy station is also a furnace. Carbon electrodes Heat the steel to the targeted casting temperature, then maintain it until the steel's precise chemistry has been attained. This is verified by testing samples of the steel in the quality control lab located within the LMF facility. When it's time to cast, ladles are transferred to the turret atop the continuous caster. The turret holds two ladles to ensure continuous operations. When a ladle is empty, the next swings into place to continue the cast. The empty ladle is returned to the basic oxygen furnace to receive its next heat. 
steel flows from the ladle into the tun dish, a reservoir that holds the steel and distributes it evenly for casting. A ceramic shroud helps ensure clean steel by shielding it from contact with air, which would result in contaminating oxides. Steel cleanliness is further enhanced by the Tundish's internal design, which allows non-metallic inclusions to float out of the steel before it's cast. Automation plays a leading role in the production of minigrated steel. Closed-loop process control computer systems augment each of the CSP's major functional areas and optimize the setup of individual machines ensuring that exact customer specifications are automatically achieved. That data is relayed to a production planning and scheduling computer system, which oversees the facility's operation by creating an optimal production schedule. It combines an analysis of current sales and factory orders with data from the closed-loop computer systems. The computer then configures the schedule that is most advantageous to the customer and ACME. As casting begins, the steel flows from the tundish into a copper water-cooled mold. A specially designed nozzle prevents oxidation and optimizes steel flow into the mold. While the skin begins to form on the steel's outside surface, the water-cooled mold oscillates up and down to strip itself from the solidifying shell. Mold powder, which covers the steel surface, is added to further prevent oxidation. And after melting, lubricates the steel as it travels down through the mold. Two enhancements to Acme's caster provide improved product surface quality. An electromagnetic brake acts as a damper to quiet the steel's wave action at the top of the mold. And a hydraulic mold oscillator controls the amplitude and frequency of the oscillation movement. This represents an improvement over traditional mechanical oscillators and enables Acme to cast alloy and mid and high carbon grades of steel. The caster's adjustable width feature gives Acme the flexibility to produce a wider product range during a cast. With its state-of-the-art production control systems, Acme is also able to quickly react to customer changes by reapplying its product in real time automatically. As the steel moves through the caster's containment zone, a gradually thickening skin forms on the slab's exterior. A major quality evaluation is automatically performed on a number of casting variables, ensuring that the steel will meet the customer's exact physical and mechanical specifications. Two additional enhancements provide increased product quality. A spray mist system allows more uniform efficient cooling, improving surface quality. Soft reduction improves internal quality by preventing centerline segregation. As the approximately two inch thick slab emerges, it's automatically sheared to the length required for a customer's maximum coil outside diameter. It then immediately enters the tunnel furnace. The fully automated 676-foot roller-type furnace controls slab heating, producing uniform temperature across the slab's width, length, and thickness. Computer control allows for virtually perfect heat control, as it automatically sets the furnace's temperature in line with the slab's targeted casting and entry temperature. Uniformly heated slabs mean less variation in hot mill finishing providing improved mechanical properties and gauge control. It also allows scale to form correctly on the slab surface and come off more easily before hot rolling, enhancing surface characteristics.